SpaceX is without a doubt the most successful space company today. They are so far ahead of the competition that there really isn't another company that even comes close to their success. This is why we compare SpaceX with itself, not with other companies. The only real competition they face is breaking their own records. And this week, they did just that by surpassing their own record for the number of launches in a year. What's even crazier is that the year isn't anywhere near over yet. In this video, we'll talk about this remarkable achievement and dive into other key details about SpaceX's ongoing success. Before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. This week, SpaceX reached a remarkable milestone by completing its 100th launch of 2024, marking an extraordinary achievement in the space industry. The 100th launch took place during a Starlink doubleheader on October 15th, with two successful missions launched just hours apart. The first mission launched 23 Starlink satellites from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, followed by a second mission that sent 20 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. These two launches added to SpaceX's impressive 100 launches this year, breaking their previous record of 96 launches in 2023. What makes this milestone even more significant is that SpaceX is targeting up to 148 launches by the end of the year, an ambitious goal that no other space company has even come close to achieving. One of the most notable launches that took place in the lead-up to the 100th launch was the highly publicized Starship launch on October 13, 2024. This particular mission grabbed global attention not just for being a massive test of SpaceX's Starship program, but also for what it accomplished. Starship, SpaceX's fully reusable spacecraft designed for missions to the Moon and Mars, took off from the company's Texas facility, marking the fifth integrated test flight of the Starship system. What set this launch apart from previous ones was the fact that for the first time in history, SpaceX successfully caught the Super Heavy booster mid-air using the Mechazilla catching system. The Mechazilla system is a set of large robotic arms designed to catch the booster, instead of allowing it to land on a drone ship or on land. The booster, which powers Starship's ascent, returned to Earth and was smoothly caught by the Mechazilla system. While the mid-air booster catch grabbed headlines, the upper stage, Starship itself, also saw significant improvements during this test flight. After separating from the booster, the upper stage continued its journey towards space, performing crucial maneuvers to simulate its orbital mission profile. The spacecraft reached its designated altitude before preparing for re-entry. The heat shield, designed to protect the vehicle during its high-speed descent through the atmosphere, performed better than in earlier tests. Starship successfully splashed down in the Indian Ocean, completing the mission. It's hard to say what's more impressive, SpaceX hitting the 100 launches per year milestone, or the extraordinary success of Starship's fifth test flight with a mid-air booster catch. But the real feat is that SpaceX achieved both in the same year. This achievement reflects a clear upward trend that began in 2021, when SpaceX completed 31 launches, followed by 61 launches in 2022, and an unprecedented 96 launches in 2023. SpaceX's increasing launch cadence shows that the company is accelerating at a pace no other space organization can match, and their trajectory suggests even more unimaginable numbers in the future. With their ultimate goal of launching up to 1,000 rockets annually to support missions like Mars colonization and building a sustainable space economy, SpaceX is well on its way to transforming space travel from rare events into routine operations. SpaceX has indeed faced significant challenges in its journey to 100 launches in 2024, and regulatory delays from the FAA being among the most difficult hurdles. In 2024 alone, the Falcon 9 rockets were grounded twice, both due to issues with the second stage. The first grounding occurred in July after a Falcon 9 experienced a propellant leak during a Starlink mission, leading to the loss of 20 satellites. This issue forced SpaceX to temporarily halt Falcon 9 launches while it investigated the cause. 
The rocket fleet was grounded again in September after a second stage malfunction during the high-profile Crew-9 mission for NASA. While the mission successfully delivered astronauts to the International Space Station, the upper stage did not re-enter the atmosphere as planned, prompting the FAA to investigate and delay future launches until SpaceX could provide an explanation and corrective actions. Similarly, the Starship program has faced its own regulatory obstacles. Each of the five Starship test flights, including the most recent one in October 2024, experienced lengthy delays in obtaining launch licenses. After preparing for launches, SpaceX often had to wait for months while the FAA conducted thorough reviews of environmental impact reports, safety protocols, and technical data. This led to frustration within SpaceX, as the company felt ready to proceed with launches but couldn't due to regulatory restrictions. One of the most notable delays came before the fifth Starship test, where SpaceX had the rocket and booster fully assembled and ready on the pad, yet had to wait for FAA approval for several months. The approval eventually came through, and the launch was a success, but the extended wait demonstrated how challenging the regulatory process can be. The next Starship flight, Flight 6, is shaping up to be a completely different story compared to previous test launches. What makes this flight particularly promising is that SpaceX already secured the FAA launch license for both Flight 5 and Flight 6 at the same time. This means that unlike the earlier test flights where they waited for months for regulatory approval, if SpaceX is ready, the rocket can technically launch today. Now there are two potential paths for SpaceX's next Starship flight. The first option is to conduct Flight 6 by the end of this year, following a similar protocol to Flight 5, with the ship landing in the ocean. This would allow SpaceX to continue testing and gathering more data before attempting a catch. The second option would be to delay Flight 6 until next year to incorporate the ship-catching system, which could result in no more Starship flights in 2024. Each option has its pros and cons. A quicker launch would allow SpaceX to continue testing without delay, but pushing for a full mid-air catch could bring them closer to their ultimate goal of full reusability. At this point, the more reasonable option seems to be proceeding with Flight 6 this year without the catching attempt. This would give SpaceX more time to refine its technology before attempting the mid-air catch in a later flight, possibly during Flight 7. Another exciting aspect of Flight 6 is the potential for more advanced tests involving orbital refueling. Musk has spoken about the importance of in-orbit refueling to make long-distance space travel feasible. By refueling Starship in space, SpaceX aims to send the spacecraft on extended missions without needing to return to Earth for fuel. Check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.